Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see this packet tracer activity, uh, packet tracer introduction from Internet of Things. Here we can see the objectives of this packet tracer activity. The objective of this activity is to develop an understanding of the basic functions of packet tracer. So in part one, configuring a wireless router. In part two, connecting a laptop to a network. In part three, adding a tablet to a network. So this is what we are going to do in this packet tracer activity. Also here we can see the scenario. Uh, this activity introduces you to the features of packet tracer. We will be connecting a PC using a wired connection to configure the wireless router. Then we will connect a laptop and a mobile device such as a tablet to a wireless router. This wireless router is similar to the type that is used in home or small offices. If you want to learn more about Packet Tracer, you can refer to the content or tutorial files with the Packet Tracer. From the menu bar, click Help, then Content or Help Tutorial. Now we will come to part 1, configuring a wireless router. We will connect a PC to the wireless router to configure a wireless router with the basic configurations. Step 1. Connect to the wireless router. A. Select connections represented by a lightning bolt from the device type selection box, the bottom left corner of packet tracer. Here we can see those device type selection box here. So here we are going to click on these connections. Then here we can see click copper straight through represented by a solid black line. Here we can see that it's a copper straight through. We are going to click on that. Coming to see when the cursor changes to connection mode. Here we can see now this cursor is in connection mode. Click PC0 and choose fast Ethernet 0. Then click WRS1 and choose Ethernet 1 to connect the other end of the cable to the wireless router. Right, so coming to PC0, we will click on this PC0, then we will select this fast Ethernet 0. Then coming to WRS1, here we will give a specified Ethernet 1. Here we can see that. Here they given a note. Notice that WRS1 has two network segments, internal and internet. Ports Ethernet 1 till 4 and wireless are considered part of the internal segment, while the internet port is part of the internet. WRS1 will act as a switch to the devices connected to its internal segment and as a router between the two segments. PC0 is now connected to the internal segment, that is Ethernet 1, yes we connected that. Uh, when packet tracer displays green dots on both sides of the connection between PC0 and WRS1 continue to the next step. So here we can see now both sides, uh, it's a green dots. On PC0 it's green and on WRS1 also it's green. Also, they given a note here, if no green dots are shown, make sure to enable show link lights under options, preferences. You may also click fast forward time in the yellow bar, just above the device type selection box. Well, now we will come to step 2, configure PC0 to use DHCP. Uh, to reach the WRS1 management page, PC0 must communicate on the network. A wireless router usually includes a DHCP server and the DHCP server is usually enabled by default on the internal segment of the router. For PC0 to acquire an IP address from the WRS1, PC0 will receive the IP information from the DHCP server on WRS1. So click on PC0 and then select the desktop tab. Then go to click IP configuration and select DHCP. Right, so coming to our PC0. Here we can see desktop, IP configuration and here we are going to click on this DHCP. And here we can see the details. DHCP request successful. 
so what is the ip address of the computer here we can see the ip address it's 192.168.0.100 what is the submit to mask of the computer here we can see the submit to mask 255.255.255.0 what is the default gateway of the computer? Here we can see that default gateway 192.168.0.1. Close the IP configuration window. They given a note also. Values can vary within the network range due to normal DHCP operation. Right. So here we seen all the informations. Now we will come to step three connect to the wireless router in the desktop tab on pc0 choose web browser then enter 192.168.0.1 in the url field to open the web configuration page of the wireless router use admin for both the username and password then enter the network setup heading on the basic setup page notice the ip address or range for the dhcp server is the IP address for PC0 within this range? Is it expected? Explain your answer. So, yes, we will check that. We will do that. So coming to our PC0 desktop, web browser, and here we are going to give the URL as specified 192.168.0.1. And here we can see it's prompted for username and password, authorization, so username is admin, password also admin. Here we can see the details. Here we can see setup, basic setup. Enter this network setup, here we can see DHCP server settings. DHCP server, it's enabled. And here we can see stat IP address, it's 192.168.0.100. Maximum number of users, it's 50. So here, uh, this uh, first stat IP address itself is assigned to this PC0. Now we will come to step 4, configure the internet port of WSR1. In this step, WRS1 is configured to route the packets from the wireless clients to other networks. So we will configure the internet port on WRS1 to connect to other networks. Coming to A, enter the internet setup at the top of the basic setup page. Change the internet IP address method from automatic configuration DHCP to static IP. Then type the IP address to be assigned to the internet interface as follows. Here we can see the internet IP address. It's 209.165.200.225 and the submit to mask 255.255.255.252 then the default gateway 209.165.200.226 then leave the rest unchanged right so we will uh, do this uh, uh, internet port configuration coming to our PC0 here we can see basic setup, internet setup, internet connection type. It's by default here automatic configuration hyphen DHCP. Here we are going to select static IP. And here we can see internet IP address. So as specified, here we are going to give 209.165.200.225. Then here is a submit to mask, it's uh, 255.255.255.252. Also, uh, the default gateway, it's a 209.165.200.226. Then the remaining, uh, we will uh, uh, leave as it is. Then here we can see, scroll down the page and click save settings click continue and move on to the next step right so here we will come to the last and here we can see save settings settings are successful continue
Now we will come to step 5. Configure the WSR1 SSID. Navigate to wireless, basic wireless settings. Then change network name SSID to a company. Notice that SSIDs are case sensitive. Then scroll to the bottom of the window and click save settings. Click continue. Right. So we will come to PC0. Oh, we close that web browser. So we will give that URL again here. So 192.168.0.1. Username admin password admin okay and here we can see wireless option here is that wireless and here we can see basic wireless settings and here we can see network name SSID so here we are going to give a company And we are going to save this save settings continue now we will come to step 6 change the WRS1 access password so navigate to administration management and change the current router password to Cisco so uh, the current password is admin we are going to change to uh, Cisco uh, scroll to the bottom of the window and click save settings then use the username admin and the new password Cisco when prompted to log into the wireless router click OK click continue right so coming to our PC 0 here we can see administration and here we can see management here to click on that uh, here is a router access router password uh, re-enter to confirm right so here we are going to give the password as a Cisco re-enter to confirm Cisco now we will save settings and here we can see it's prompted for a username it's admin and the new password Cisco settings are successful continue now we will come to step 7 change the DHCP address or range in WRS1 so in this step we will change the internal network address from 192.168.0.0 slash 24 to 192.168.50.0/24. So when the internal network address changes, the IP addresses on the devices in the internal network must be renewed to receive new IP addresses before the lease is timed out. Coming to a uh, navigate to setup basic setup, then scroll down the page to network setup. The IP address assigned to router IP is 192.168.0.1. Now we are going to change it to 192.168.50.1. So scroll to the bottom of the window and click Save Settings. They are given a note. Note that the DHCP range of addresses has been automatically updated to reflect the interface IP address change. The web browser still display a request timed out after a short time why right so we will check that first we will change this address coming to pc0 here we have to go to setup here we can see that now we are in basic setup we'll scroll down and here we can see network setup here we are going to give we are going to change this ip address 192.168. here we are going to give 50.1 here we are going to give save settings and here we can see shows request timed out because here we can see we logged into this uh, uh, WRS1 using this uh, IP address 192.168.0.1 now the IP address of this uh, device WRS1 we changed it to uh, 192.168.50.1 
Next is uh, close the PC0 web browser. In the PC0 desktop tab, uh, click the command prompt. There we have to give IP config space slash or renew to force a PC0 to reacquire IP information via DHCP. Right. So what is the new IP address information for PC0? We will check that. So we will close this web browser and coming to command prompt. Here we are going to give IP config space slash or renew. And we are waiting for the new IP address. And here we can see that IP address it's 192.168.50.100. And here we can see the default gateway. It's a 50.1. So now open a browser in the desktop tab, navigate to www.cisco.pka. This should be successful, right? So we will check that. Here is our web browser, URL, and here we are going to give go. Cisco.pka. Here we can see Cisco Packet Tracer. So we are getting the web page. Also, we can log in into this uh, WRS1. So for that, we have to give this uh, new IP address uh, what we given. It's 192.168.50.1. And go. So it's prompted for a username and password. Admin password Cisco. And here we can see the details. Here we can see this uh, DHCP server settings. The start IP address also changed when we changed the IP address of this device. Now we can see the start IP address 192.168.50.100. So this first IP address itself is assigned to this PC0. Now we will come to part 2, connecting a laptop to a network. In part 2, we will configure a laptop to connect to the network wirelessly. A. At this time, company laptop, here we can see that the company laptop, may not be connected to the network. The laptop needs to be configured with the wireless information from WRS1. These are the configured settings from the previous part. So click company laptop, click the desktop tab, then click PC wireless. So enter the connect tab, select a company if necessary and click connect. Coming to our company laptop, desktop and here we can see PC wireless, click on that and here we can see the connect tab, here there is no wireless network, we can give refresh and here we can see a company, so we have to click on that then we have to click on this connect now we can see this company laptop is connected to this WRS1 wirelessly coming to a D click the desktop tab and then IP configuration verify that a DHCP is selected under the IP configuration heading the laptop will receive an IP address from the DHCP server on the WRS1 if the wireless settings on the laptop are configured correctly. So what is your DHCP assigned IP address? Right, so coming to our company laptop, desktop, IP configuration and here we can see it's in DHCP and here we can see the IP address 192.168.50.101. Coming to E, open a web browser in the desktop tab, navigate to www.cisco.pka. This should be successful. If you are unsuccessful, click command prompt under the desktop tab, then type IP config space slash renew to acquire new IP information via DHCP. You may need to click go a few times. If necessary, click fast forward time to speed up the process. Right, so coming to our company laptop. The browser, here we are going to give www.cisco.pka and here we can see we are getting the web page. 
Right, now we will come to part 3, adding a tablet to a network. In part 3, we will add and configure a tablet to connect to the network wirelessly. Select any devices represented by a PC slash server slash phone icon from the device type selection box. Click wireless tablet to add a tablet to the network. The tablet needs to be configured with the wireless information from WRS1. These are the configured settings from part 1. So we have to click the new tablet, click the config tab, then click wireless 0, enter a company as the SSID. So note the SSID is case sensitive, so we have to give it correctly. Here we can see entity devices and uh, here we are going to uh, select wireless tablet we are going to click on that and we will put on our workspace right now we will uh, click on this uh, tablet pc0 here we can see config and here is wireless 0 and here we are going to give the ssid from this default we have to give a company And now we can see this uh, tablet PC0 is connected to WRS1 wirelessly. Coming to D, scroll down to IP configuration. Verify that a DHCP is selected under the IP configuration heading. The tablet will receive an IP address from the DHCP server on WRS1 if the wireless settings on the tablet are configured correctly. So what is your DHCP assigned IP address? So we will check that coming to tablet PC. Wireless 0 and here we can see IP configuration and here we can see it's selected DHCP. Here we can see the IP address it's 192.168.50.103. Now open a web browser in the desktop tab, navigate to www.cisco.pka. This should be successful. If you are unsuccessful, click command prompt under the desktop tab, type ipconfig slash renew to acquire a new IP information via DHCP. Note you may need to click go a few times if necessary. Click fast forward time to speed up the process. Not tracked, so coming to our tablet PC, desktop the browser and here we are going to give the URL as www.cisco.pka and here we can see we are getting the web page check your score you should have 100% here we can see completion status 100% well, in this uh, packet tracer activity, we have seen packet tracer introduction uh, from Internet of Things. Friends, if you have any doubt in this uh, packet tracer activity, uh, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you will get latest uploading video info directly into our Gmail. Thank you.